Okay, so if I'm converting angles from radians to degrees, remember that all the way around the circle is 2 pi, or 360 degrees, or better yet, you can reduce that to say that pi, halfway around the circle, is 180 degrees. So that's what you're going to have. So what we're going to have here now is we're going to uh, take this 5 pi over 3, if pi equals 180 degrees, to get degrees, I want degrees in my numerator, and multiply by unit fraction with um, the numerator in degrees, the denominator in radians. Now see if you can cancel anything out. In this case, the pi will cancel. So now I need to just do 5 thirds times 180 in Desmos, or if you wanted to use do without Desmos, you could reduce and find out that you should have an answer of 300 degrees. So that's how you convert from degrees to radians. You're also going to have a problem like, some problems like this, where this time you notice you're not going to be able to get an exact answer because when you go to convert from degrees to radians, you still need your degrees on top. It still has to be a unit fraction, so pi, radian, uh, pi radians is 180 degrees. And I'm going to multiply. Now when I multiply, I'm going to get negative 360 over pi degrees, and it says it wants the answer to the nearest tenth. Well, there's not much to do except for to try the calculator. So I'm just going to do negative 360 divided by pi, and the pi button's right there for you. So you to the nearest tenth, I would need to say that that was equal to a negative 114.6. So the 9 goes up, makes that round up to a 6. So negative 114.6 should be your answer. This one I'm going from degrees to radians. So I'm still using my unit fraction, but this time since I want my answer in radians, radians needs to be on top. So pi radians is 180 degrees. And putting the degrees on the bottom also will cause the degrees to cancel. So what I'm going to end up with is, uh, since I want it in terms of pi, I would need to just leave the pi on my paper, meaning I don't put it in the calculator. So if you're using Desmos, you would do 300 divided by 180. Or you could reduce and say, well, you know, 5 goes into 30, 6 times, well, 6 goes into 35 times, that would be better. And then 6 goes into 18 three times. So you could have a 5 pi over 3. And if you type that in, you just have a 5 pi over 3. And it'll let you submit it like that. Uh, please reach out if you have any questions.